It seems like as soon as a company embraces blockchain, their stock goes soaring. Chanticleer Holdings said it will use blockchain for its rewards program, and its shares rose 41%. Kodak announced a blockchain-based photography platform, and shares jumped 119%. Long Island Ice Tea simply added blockchain to their name, and their shares shot up 183%. So what's the deal with blockchain? Blockchain applies to so many industries. You don't need a cryptocurrency for a blockchain. Anytime you are taking what's a manual process today and making it self-service, there's an opportunity for blockchain. Blockchains are really, a, it's a new type of database. But the difference on this database is, one, it's encrypted, Two, it is shared and it is immutable. Digital immutability is, so let's say I have a notebook. Imagine every, you know, everybody in chronological order um, making their notes in the notebook, and as soon as the page is finished, it gets laminated and it can never change again. That concept that you have a continuous record of data, not just what the data is now, but how it's changed over time, is what's really interesting. There have been many supply chain networks in the past, but most of the time people only see the participant immediately before or after them in the value chain. They don't see the whole network. They see the most current value of something, not what it's been across time. If you've ever had to buy property or a house or an apartment, one of the main problems is you're buying something from somebody and you don't know if they actually own the house. So the bank forces you uh, to take uh, what's known as title insurance. With blockchain technology, there's a ledger, it's shared, it's got every single piece of property in a municipality on it, and it's got every single lien on that property. You consult the ledger, does the person own it? Yes. Cutting out the middleman here means the time it takes for transactions, transfers of ownership, approvals, that could potentially shrink from days to seconds. You don't need people to verify a transaction um, or to verify the truth of something. We really think in IBM that blockchain is going to have the same kind of transformative effect to transactions and business processes that the internet had on the distribution of information and the way we communicate. Almost every business will be impacted in some way by blockchain technology. It's not a matter of uh, if, it's a matter of when.